everything lit and y'all love when it's hot. Yeah. Finally, finally, Harry Potter and the, what is it called? And the Goblet of Fire. We're getting into it, y'all. How older has Harry Potter gotten this film? I noticed um, every Harry Potter film, he gets significantly older. How long did they wait in between the films to record these? I don't know. We're about to check it out. Subscribe to the channel, y'all. Hit that bell next to the subscribe button. It'll let you know when we bring in that heat. Because it's coming. It's on the way. Smash that like button too if you made it this far. You don't want to smash it. <laughs> Strangle it. Harry Potter, what you got, man? Slytherin. Every time I see a snake, Slytherin ass mother jammers. Harry Potter, hold your ground. Stand strong. Back up. Episode, the movie starting with a snake. You know who on your heels. We did this before. We done got rid of Slytherin scum before. Bring it on. I'm scared for my boy, though, in reality. Watch your oh, no, step, no, no. the rat, boy, this guy. It cannot be done without him. Good. First, gather our own comrades. Yeah, look down. Get up out of there, man. Lord Voldemort in there. It's danger. The buckle caretaker is standing just outside the door. Step beside Wormtail so I can give our guest a proper greeting. Oh, shit. They hit his ass with a green black. Oh, that was a bad dream. Just now, you. Last night. Hell of a thing wake to be dreaming up. about, Harry Potter. Bloody hell. I haven't Come even had on, time Lord. to look at Your Armani. Breakfast ready. Armani, what's up, girl? Wake these knuckleheads up. Arthur! It's about time, son. Sorry, Amos. This strapping young man must be Cedric, am I right? Sir? This dude jumped out. <laughs> Just over there. A boot at the top of the hill. <laughs> These boots are made for walking. And they must have walked up that hill, and that's just what they did. Ready? After three. Three. Ah! Hell no! <laughs> These boots are made for teleporting. And that's just what they'll do. You touch this boot. And I'll teleport you. What the? Ah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to the shoe store today. Touching every boot in there. <laughs> one of these. One of them going to work, ma'am. She's going to be like, what you doing? I'm about to teleport out of here. Watch this. <laughs> Welcome to the Quidditch 12 Quidditch games. Where my Nimbus? I got a new Nimbus, y'all. This is called the Air Glider 3000. It glides. It got a glide in motion. Yeah, I was ready for Quidditch. Home sweet home. What? Home in the tent for all of y'all. That's a little tent, buddy. Excellent, excellent. Ron, hey, oh no. We're all hungry. Yeah, get out of the kitchen, Ron. Yeah, Harry. I love magic. Magic is crazy. Damn, that Quidditch arena is fire. Damn, Africans coming to Quidditch now. Everybody's supporting the sport. By personal invitation of Cornelius Fudge himself. Don't boost, Draco. Yeah, Draco, the shut up. With these people. Do enjoy yourself, won't you? While you can. Get your damn stick off of me before I hit you with this air glider upside your damn head, man. Oh, mine don't got the green smoke to come out of it. We'll put this down. Who's that? Oh, 
Oh, they busting tricks on the damn. Ah. Uh. Get out and Get back to the pokey, everybody, and stick together. He pulled out his wine. What's going on? They coming through, burning everything down. What the? Harry, get your ass up, man. Harry, oh my God. Harry, you know that scar connects you to Lord Baltimore. Get up, see what's going on. Been looking for you for ages. What the? My son! Because if you can't do this, Crouch, you can't. I did not lie. You've been discovered at the scene of the crime. There was a man. Before. Uh, there. All of you. This way. So they just gonna casually let the scary ass skull sit in the sky? S somebody run DC Mo's. Do something to get it out of the sky. Armani, go take care of it. She gotta do everything. Right, Money, go get the big ass skull out the sky, girl. Two pumpkin pasties, please. Harry, this ain't the time to be thinking with your other man down below. Stay focused. Harry, like, shit, I'm getting older. <laughs> I see a girl. You know what? It's hurting again, isn't it? Your scar. I'm fine. Oh, he's sending out a letter to Sirius Black. Santa? <laughs> it's an early Christmas in Hogwarts. Pull up. Blow well, that thing that's down. That's something you do every day. <laughs> that's something you don't see every day either. I see a lot of stuff in these movies I don't see every day. What the? Them pirates of the Caribbean ship. What movie is this? Pirates of the Caribbean or Harry Potter? This castle will not only be your home this year, but home to some very special guests as well. <laughs> <laughs> the Tri Wizard Tournament. Now, for those of you who do not know, oh, the this Tri Wizard can get real. Tournament brings together three schools. If chosen, you stand alone. And trust me when I say, lovely ladies of the Bow Batten's Academy of Magic and their headmistress. All right, ladies. Look around. <laughs> oh, they got butterflies and stuff flying off of them. They too perfect. Damn. Shaq. <laughs> Shaq out there. Please greet the proud sons of Dumbstrang. And the high master Igor Kakarov. Okay, so these are the other two schools, I suppose. Oh, these guys. Uh, damn. They doing flips and break dancing. <laughs> they walking in in pimp coats. Oh, okay. Okay, they not to be played with. That was a hell of an entrance, y'all. You'll be able to see the whole entrance on Patreon down below. Click the link. That's crazy. <laughs> they drink only single malt whiskey. <laughs> Eternal glory. That is what awaits the student who wins the Triwizard Tournament. But to do this, that student must survive three tasks. To explain all this, we have the head of the Department of International Magical Cooperation. Mr. Bartimus Crouch. Mr. Bartimus Crouch. <laughs> oh! The Bartimus! Hey, hey, hey! No drinking on the job, man. What son he's drinking, do you suppose? I don't know, but I don't think it's pumpkin juice. <laughs> ah, me neither, Harry. The ministry has concluded that for their own safety, no student under the age of 17. Hey, adults only. Adults only. Silence! <laughs> I 
I wish I went to Hogwarts for school, man. The Goblet of Fire. Anyone wishing to submit themselves to the tournament, nearly write their name upon a piece of parchment and throw it in the flame before this hour on Thursday night. As from this moment, the Triwizard Tournament has begun. I'm joining y'all. I don't know what's about y'all. My name in the fire now. My name in the fire. My name in, my name in the fire. I'm here because Dumbledore asked me. End of story. Goodbye, the end. <laughs> Any questions? No question. Yeah, I got a question. You good, man? You need to know what you're up against. You need to be prepared. You need to find another place to put your chewing gum besides the underside of your desk, Mr. Finnegan. That I see everywhere. Paris curse. Oh, yeah. Your father would know all about that. Gave the ministry quite a bit of grief a few years ago. Man, keep your eye on the control. That thing's seeing around everywhere in the room. You can't do nothing. Go, Jill. Imperial. <laughs> Don't worry. Completely harmless. <laughs> Completely harmless, huh? Weasley. <laughs> yeah, Draco. <laughs> Bitey. How do we sort out the liars? Professor Sprout tells me you have an aptitude for herbology. Lucio. about to kill the polo spider. The killing curse. Only one person is known to have survived it. And he's sitting in this room. Harry Potter. Harry mother effing Potter. Pumpkin juice. Hey! Harry Potter has had a weird life. A lot of weird teachers that he had to encounter. I feel bad for him. Never you oh. right. Son. Be crushed. All right. We'll have a cup of tea. I want to show you something. <laughs> you broke the man's spirit. Now you give him a cup of tea. That'll soothe things off. This is an age line. Dumbledore drew it himself. So? <laughs> Dumbledore got it on lock. They snuck their way in. Oh! You thought. Y'all want to be old? I got something for you. <laughs> ah. Armani, don't smile at that creep. What's wrong with you? Don't go to the other side now. We need you. The champion selection. I know it had to be so fun, you know, filming this movie, being an actor and seeing all this stuff come together. Really? I never seen a fire that burnt paper spit burnt paper back out to you. This is something new. Diggory. Sexy Diggory. It's the first time he in the Harry Potter series. That's beautiful. Damn, it done spit out a whole sheet of paper. This fire is crazy. Harry Potter. Harry Potter always in some shit, man. <laughs> Harry Potter! Harry! Come on, Harry. What's up, bro? Youngest in the game. Youngest in the game. We out here. Harry, load up. Young gun out here. Did you put your name in the cupboard of the fire? No, sir. You asked one of the oldest students to do it for you? No, sir. And of course he is lying. The hell he is. Shaq came through, hitting the light fixtures out the way. Mr. Potter has no choice. Potter, are he you in the game? A Tri Wizards champion. Potter, you a Tri Wizards champion. You a TWC, baby. TWC. Well, technically, it's not called Try with a Champion because it's four of them now. So it'll be Quad with a Champion? I don't know. Maybe it's just me overthinking it. Don't let Potter compete. You heard Barty. The rules are clear. The rules, the rules. The goblet spit Barty. it out. Let them unfold. What? Do nothing? Yeah. Offer him up as bait? 
He must be anxious enough as it is, knowing what lies ahead. Then again, we all are. What the hell? This dude just took some of his brain matter and threw it into a bowl? Never mind. It doesn't matter. Weasley. You might have let your best friend know, though. Potter don't know what's going on. I didn't put my name in that cup. I don't want eternal glory. I just want to be... I don't know what happened tonight, and I don't know why. Well, we got to figure out why it happened, Harry. You don't seem too freaked out about it. Ron seemed more upset than you. Piss off. <laughs> Ron, watch it. You my buddy, but hey. I write for the Daily Prophet. <laughs> of course you know that, don't you? It's you. We don't know. He myself and I want to know. Not to mention my rabid readers. <sighs> so, who's feeling up to Sherry? <laughs> She's trying to get the scoop for the Daily Prophet. Hell of a name. She, she there trying to get a profit off of the story of Harry Potter and the gang. Oh, she done grabbed Harry up. A mere boy of 12. I've been 14. Sorry. About to compete. She trying to twist the news up already. The media, I'm telling you. Do you think it was the trauma of your past that made you so keen to enter such a dangerous tournament? I didn't enter. <gasps> of course you didn't. My eyes aren't glistening with the ghost of my past. <laughs> She trying to make this story real juicy to get that profit. That's what the media do. Spin the news. It's better than just giving it to you raw. Let's spin it. Make it a little, you know, <laughs> more devious. Then give it to the public. I couldn't risk sending Hedwig. Meet me in the Gryffindor common room at one o'clock this Saturday night. Serious yes. Black. Hey! The bird bites. Thanks for putting that at the end. Bird done nibbled on my damn hand already. <laughs> what the? Serious? Serious? Tell me about this dream of yours. You mentioned Wormtail and Vorderborn. I mean, it was only a dream, right? Yes. It's just a dream. What are you saying? I'm saying the devils are inside the wall. Then there's Barty Crouch, Heart of Stone, sent his own son to Azkaban. I haven't a clue who put your name in that goblet, Harry, but whoever did is no friend to you. Who are you talking to? What? Who says I was talking to anyone? You're probably just practicing for your next interview, I expect. Hey, let's talk this out, man. We boys. Run! Magical water plants of the Highland Locks. Yeah, Moody gave it to me. That, that day we had tea. So him and Ron beefing, so now he out trying to be friends with Neville. Elf. Look at Ron. He's on his way. Is, Ronald would like me to tell you that Seamus told him that Dean was told by Pavati that Hagrid's looking for you. That passed down to all them people. What? Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, Ronald, come tell me yourself, man. Well, you can tell Ronald. I'm not an owl. Armani said, I'm not getting in between your BS. Hagrid, have you combed your hair? As a matter of fact, I have. Hagrid, you look good. I'm try the same thing now and again. Or swear a lamp. Oh, Hagrid. Shaq, stay I out there. She bigger than Hagrid. Me. Damn. I don't forget you, a lamp. Oh, that's Hagrid's girl. He done combed his hair for her. Harry, put your head back up. That's the first task. You're drunk. Richards. Wow. Like the bash. <laughs> Potter stinks. <laughs> Dragons. That's the first task. They've got one for each of us. Come on, Sed! He looks scared. Are you serious? Yeah, dragons! And this guy with this eye, man. Today. Yes. Come on, Hey, listen. He can zoom badges. in with it. I've asked him not to wear them. Don't worry about it. I don't think you're gonna last 10 minutes in this tournament. I don't think you're gonna last 10 minutes of me kicking you. Shut up, Draco. Thank you. And you're pathetic. Oh, no, you don't, Sonny. Sonny. Yo, Draco deserves oh, this. <laughs> Put Draco in his pants. <laughs> oh. Stop the fun. Oh. Professor. I can tell you stories about your father that would curl even your greasy hair, boy. He deserved it. <laughs> what you got me here for, man? Come on, let's talk. Let's talk and get out of here. What are you going to do about your dragon? What are your strengths? We don't know um, yet. <laughs> Oculus Repairo. 
I can fly. I mean, I'm a fair flyer, but I... Better than fair, the way I heard it. Let's let the games begin, y'all. Harry, shouts out to you, man. Stay safe. Youngest in the game. We out here to take over. Youngest champ in the game. Trimester. Harry. Armani. How are you feeling? And I don't know, girl. <laughs> Armani, like, let me get a hug, Harry. Young love. If everything goes unfortunately today, you two may even make the front page. You've wondered, and at last the moment has arrived, a moment only four of you can fully appreciate. What are you doing here, Miss Granger? Champions in a circle around me. Miss Delacour. Delacour! The Welsh Green Dragon. The Chinese Fireball. The Swedish Short Snout. The Hungarian Horn Tail. The Hungarian Horn Tail. <laughs> Never heard of it, but it looks scary. Your objective is simple. Collect the egg. That's got to be a hard task. Collect the egg from a dragon. That's stealing the baby from her mama. That ain't, you can't do that. Unless you're the government. Let's go, Harry! 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 Slay them motherfucking dragons. Slay them. Oh! Oh! Let this big Komodo dragon kick your ass, Harry. I run. <laughs> Oculus repair all his ass. He called in the Nimbus. Harry, fly that mother. Oh. No. Damn, Harry, high up. Close call. Hey. <laughs> Watch your ass, Harry. Oh, oh. Let me get that egg up off of you. How you like it? Scramble, over easy, or over well, or over hard? What's up? Who wants me to open it? Yeah. Open it. Close it, Jesus. The bloody hell was that? The bloody hell. <laughs> this is gonna be uncomfortable enough that all you knows is suds this thing in. Oh, so it went from a Harry Stinks to a Support Harry show. I wasn't the only one who thought you'd done it. Everyone was saying it behind your back. <laughs> that makes me feel loads better. Yeah, it does. <laughs> At least I warned you about the dragon. I told Hermione to tell you that Seamus told me that Bavardi told Dean that Hagrid was looking for you. Who, who could possibly figure that out? <laughs> it's completely mental. I couldn't yeah. figure it out. Hi, Harry. Harry got the twins on him. Harry, uh-oh. You get to pick from the litter. Oh, <laughs> watch it. Harry. <laughs> Don't embarrass yourself. Look at this. Miss Granger, a plain but ambitious girl, seems to be developing a taste for famous wizards. Parcel for you, Mr. Weasley. Ah, oh, thank you, Nigel. Mm. Mm. I'm sent me a dress. <laughs> well, it does match your eyes. Is there a bonnet? On Christmas Eve night, we and our guests gather in the Great Hall for a night of well-mannered frivolity. A dance. A dance? Uh-oh. Any of you cats know how to Godfrey dance out there? Gryffindor. I will not have you in the course of a single evening besmirching that name by behaving like a babbling, bumbling band of baboons. The babbling, bumbling band of baboons. That's a hell of a lot of bees. This is to let the body breathe <laughs> inside every girl. Place your right hand on my waist. What? <laughs> my waist. One, two, one. Never gonna let him forget this, are you? Never. Never. Tell <laughs> <laughs> me, Harry, you say dragons. If you can't get a date, you can. I think uh, you take the dragon right now. Oh, uh, so they got a good date. Joe was a tiny little fella, my dad. 
I could pick him up at the age of six, and then he died just when I started school. He got all the girls wanting him. Now this rate will be the only ones on you without dates. Oh, it's one thing for a bloke to show up alone. For a girl, it's just sad. I won't be going alone because, believe it or not, someone's asked me. Armani, who the hell asked you? I need to approve of him first. Tonight, when we get back to the common room, uh -oh. we're both of partners. Agreed? Agreed. Oh! No oh, talking, gentlemen. In class. Worry about dates later. I don't have a date yet either. Where my phone at? I'm trying to call one up. I just wanted if you. I just wanted if maybe you want to go to the ball with me. Sorry. The I dance. The dance, um, baby. Well, I've, I've said I'll go with him. I really am. Sorry. You try, Harry. You got one out the way. Ask a few more. Keep going. He just asked Flo the liqueur out. What? What did he say? No, of course. I'm not cut out for this, Harry. I don't know what got into me. Hi, Harry. I'm always like. Harry, you could take two girls to the dance. Go ahead and go ask. Harry gonna be in there with a girl on each arm. I'm the man around here. I can dance with two. Harry, real stuff. No lace, no dodgy little collar. Well, I expect yours are more traditional. Traditional? Why don't you think she wouldn't tell us who she's coming with? Because we take the Mickey out of her if she did. Nobody asked. Because we tear them out, right? To dance. It's traditional that the three champions, well, in this case, four, are the first to dance. Tyler, so I hope you got it. Our money. She looking good. Yeah, she does. Keep your balls in your drawers, Harry. Keep your balls in your drawers. Oh, Armani, hell no! You don't went with the enemy? Harry don't know what the hell going on. Oh, he out there moving! <laughs> Harry Toe, I to rock. They got a rock band at <laughs> Hogwarts is the littest school in ever recorded or documented in a century of schools. Rock bands, magic, dances, wands. Would not care to join you and Victor. Ron. What's got your wand in a knot? <laughs> You're fraternizing with the enemy. Oh, everything, one. That's what I said, though, yeah. Who was it wanting his autograph? Armani. He's using you. How dare you? Next time there's a ball, pluck up the courage and ask me before somebody else does. And not as a last resort. Ron and Armani? Where have you been? Never mind, off to bed, both of you. Jesus Christ, Armani, they mama. Is she in love with Ron and Ron in love with her, guys? Am I missing something? Armani said, go y'all asses to bed. It's bedtime. <laughs> I love her. Go Harry with these damn dreams again, man. Let me see it again. The time is close now. You're all right, Harry. Harry, you told me you'd figured the egg out weeks ago. Uh, Harry Tough tripping. Two days from now. Victor's more of a physical being. Victor's not for you, Armani. He's a knucklehead. I'm scared for you. I'm scared for him too, Armani. You got by the dragons mostly on nerve. I'm not sure it's going to be enough this time. You gotta believe in him. You can't scare him before he go out to do the second challenge, Armani. Damn. I believe, I'm, I'm scared for him too, but I believe in him. I realize I never really thanked you properly for tipping me off about those drag. I'm sure you would have done the same for me. Exactly. You know the prefect's bathroom on the fifth floor? It's not a bad place for a bath. Gave him a clue. He gave him a clue. A blues clues, blues clues. You gotta turn on the water. Myrtle. Myrtle. Hello, hello. hello. Just casually chilling Lovely inside time. of the toilet. <laughs> Did you say try putting it in the water? Yeah, Harry. Murdo trying to get her little feel on. Oh! That's what he did. The other boy. Hmm. What else did the other boy do? Um, see, cause we're our voices. <laughs> Murdo trying to get her feel on, Harry. Harry. <laughs> Harry, get up out of there. Harry. <laughs> Myrtle was in 
here about to give him some ghost ghost cat. When's the last time you held your breath underwater for an hour, Hermione? Yeah, hour? You were under there for an hour? The second task is only hours away. And exactly. Presumably Potter is well prepared by now and could do with a good night's sleep. Turnip. If it will allow me to breathe underwater for an hour, then great. But otherwise... I don't know about a turnip, but you can always use gillyweed. <laughs> You're sure about this, Neville? Absolutely. You seem a little tense, Harry. Do I? <laughs> yeah, Harry on edge, man. He got to stay underwater for an hour. Wouldn't you be? I probably couldn't even do a few minutes. Like an hour? hour to do so. And one hour only. Harry. After that, be on their own. He's about to throw up. <laughs> Technically, is Harry Potter cheating? Them steroids. Oh, that's a mega cheat code. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where'd he find that? The seaweed. I've killed Harry Potter. Yeah. Oh, you juiced Harry Potter up. <laughs> this is sick stuff. He ate some green. I'm about to start eating my greens, man. I'm eating all my green foods. Green, green beans, string beans, peas. The Bobak is champion, Miss Delacour. Money? <laughs> oh, Jaws! Man, what in the world? That's that dude. He came to get her money. This. Move out my way. Good stuff, Harry. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm Harry Potter. This is what I do, ma'am. Attention! The winner is Mr. Diggle! <laughs> That's all you got to do to make your voice louder is put some Jawan right there. Mr. Potter would have finished first. Second place. Yeah. Yeah. They awarded him second place? See you at Hagrid's, Harry. I'm sorry we haven't spoken. Do with that I'm eye. Wrong. Never whole again, are we? Who is this so, guy? Life goes on. Bartamius. Not trying to lure Potter into one of the Ministry's summer internships, are we? And they say I'm mad. Leave the pumpkin juice alone. Soon to be the youngest dry wizard champion there's ever been. Yay! Young, young gang. Damn, Voldemort, leave me alone, man. Damn. Mr. Crouch. Oh. Harry, how good to see you again. I can come back later, Professor. Oh, not necessarily, Harry. The minister and I are done. Oh, Harry, do feel free to indulge in a little licorice snap in my absence. Why couldn't you just pull the door shut when you left out, man? That was pretty lazy. That wand make you lazy. You ain't got to do nothing. Just wave your wand. You ain't got to shut your own door. Ah. What the? Oh, that's that thing that dude put his brain matter in earlier. What the? Professor. <clears throat> they don't seem... Council may be prepared to order your immediate release. I have names, sir. Uh, there was a Rosia. In the meantime, you will be returned to Azkaban. No! Wait! Severus Snape was indeed a Death Eater. I know for a fact this person took part in the capture. Bertie Crouch! Crouch? Junior. Junior? Crouch had a son! What's going on? My brain all messed up right now. You are no son of mine. Crouch son, nuts! It's a pensive. Very useful if, like me, you find your mind a wee bit stretched. To you, Mr. Crouch's son. What exactly happened to him? He was sent to Azkaban. So I wonder whether Mr. Crouch's son that came back to kill him. Because he sent him off. I had a dream about him. In the dream. Mr. Crouch's I was in a house. son is the guy with Baltimore. I'm just now catching that. Have there been others like this dream? Yes. What I see, 
you don't think it's actually happening, do you? I think it's unwise for you to linger over these dreams, Harry. Cast them away. Oh, so that's what he's doing. He putting the dreams he don't want into a bowl. That's... He got that Baltimore sign on his arm, that snake sign. I think that's what that is. Congratulations, your performance in the Black Lake was inspiring. Gillyweed, am I correct? Gillyweed. I knew it was some type of weed. <laughs> I need to get my hands on that. Gillyweed. Hey, you got some of that gillyweed on you? Know what it is? I don't know if Pardon I... Please, sir. Veritas here. Should you ever steal from my personal stores again, my hand might just slip. You and your little friends are brewing polyjuice potion, and believe me, I'm going to find out why. Oh, so he know what's up. He know what's up. Stay out of our business, man. And don't put that potion in my <laughs> pumpkin juice. What is it with this uh movie and pumpkin juice? Everybody's sipping. I never even tried pumpkin juice. Never thought about trying it. Pumpkin juice. Is it time for the third challenge? Earlier today, Professor Moody placed the Triwizard Cup deep within the maze. Mr. Diggory <laughs> and Mr. Potter. Yeah! Followed by Mr. Crump. <laughs> Ooh. You'll find no dragons or creatures of the deep. Whew. Instead, you'll face something even more challenging. Even more challenging? Tell that man to look in that maze and see where the cup at, and I can just run straight through it. He can see everything else. Harry, you can go in there, make a left, two rights. The cup is right there. I see it. He knows. He knows the way. <laughs> I knew something was up with that man. I see some. Okay, now it's getting real. Harry, go left. Oh! What the? That's why I don't go to mazes. You won't catch me walking around no maze. Stuff like that happened. Plus, I might get lost. <laughs> Run, Harry! Watch the ground. Harry, you're a little too late. Harry done sent out the help signal for What if they make him disqualified because he sent it from his wand? Hey, you a run. <laughs> this dude. Spelliano. It's Spelliano, this ass. It's a great. Oh, oh, the ground. I told you, watch out for the ground, Harry. Dude, Harry care about everybody, man. <laughs> Harry too kind hearted, man. He gonna push Harry out the way and run. Watch this. For a moment there, I thought you were. You were gonna let it get me. For a moment, so did I. Harry, run, man! Go touch the dang on thing so we can get this over with. They touched it together. <laughs> Harry is a good man too. You okay? They touched it together. Pretty sure Hogwarts wasn't expecting that one. Two people to touch it at the same time. Oh, they in that spot where Harry been having them dreams at. They go to Grim Reaper. I've been here before. Lord Voldemort ugly as hell! <laughs> Who are you? What do you want? Do it now! Man, what in the world is going on in this dang on movie? He just oh, threw the little dude the into the potion. Sacrificed. <laughs> To cut his own hand off. Forcibly taken. I can. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Am I watching a baby be birthed and grow up all at once? The Dark Lord is back. He happy to be back. Your lawyer servant oh, brung you back. He gonna chop off his other good hand? <laughs> Harry, find a way to get, to get up out of here. Here you stand before me as though it were only yesterday. 
crap. Damn it, nah. He killing all of them. First thing he do when he when he come back to life, kill all his his people that work for him. This I have been obliged to. That's Draco Dad. You have proved yourself useful these past few months, Wormtail. He gave him his hand back. You see, when dear sweet Lily Potter gave her life for her only son, it was old magic. So he really didn't survive the spell. I can touch you. Now. Hey, get your finger off my forehead, man! I said pick it up! Get up! Get up! He went a wind off, huh? Your parents would be proud. Especially your filthy muggle mother. Get hit him. Don't bring my mama and daddy into this, bro. Let them rest in peace. Get up. This guy saw. Wand his ass, Harry. Wand up. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. You want to see some light? What's up? Have Get it your way. Gang, gang. <laughs> this what you wanted. You want an expelio? Damn it, Harry, hold it, hold it. Baltimore is strong as hell. Baltimore holding his wand with three fingers. Harry got to hold his with two hands. Baltimore is strong. When the connection is broken, you must get to the port key. Who is that? His dad? Take my body back, will you? We talked already. His dad is my. We got out of there. They don't even know he did. They just cheering. Oh man, the party about to be changed up real quick. Voldemort's back. Cedric, he asked me to bring his body back. He's home. <laughs> you both are. It's my boy! What now, man? This guy's crazy. What was he like? Who? The Dark Lord. It don't matter. He was scary. It was like a what the? Into one of my... Oh, that pumpkin juice. Oh, so he need to drink that stuff. It help him from doing whatever the hell going on. Did you think that miserable oaf would have led you into the woods if I hadn't suggested it? This is all in his plan. I thought he was just helping me out. Who is this guy for real? He put his fire. name in the goblet. You bewitched Crumb, but you... <laughs> blood that runs through these veins runs within the Dark Lord. Harry Potter. Honey, Philly Amos, you almost had him. Damn, Dumbledore, what the? <laughs> I'm sorry, Albus. That's moody, but then who's... His son! Crouch's son! Barty Crouch Jr. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Crouch Jr. You don't say that to another man. Lord Voldemort has returned. Cedric Diggory was, as you all know, exceptionally hardworking. Now, I think, therefore, you have the right to know exactly how he died. You gonna tell him Lord Voldemort he... killed him? Cedric Diggory was murdered. Yes, he was. By Lord Voldemort. He told him. And Cedric Diggory will not have died in vain. Rest in peace, Dick, man. Rest in peace, D. I put you in terrible danger this year, Harry. I'm sorry. Voldemort's wand and mine sort of connected. Yeah. Yeah. Priori and cantatum. Promise you'll write this summer. Both of you. The worst part about the Harry Potter movies ending, y'all, is knowing that they got to send him back to that wretched ass family that's back at home. I don't like them. Harry got to go back there at the end of every movie? Can't bet Hogwarts. Hogwarts ain't got dorm rooms. They got everything else. Add a dorm room section for the, for the people to stay, for the kids to sleep. They don't want to go home for the summer. I'm not going home. I'm in my dorm. <laughs> Lord Voldemort is back. 
what shall happen next, y'all. Don't spoil nothing in the comments. Next movie coming fast. Until next time. Peace.